Hey, howdy and how's it going everybody? We're back with another drawing video. Please excuse my squeaky chair and my dear Aunt Sally if you're doing math. That old bra, I can't remember shit anymore. I decided to draw some more of my rings today. I picked out two once again because continuity and consistency is what we're all about here. <laughs> So the two I decided to draw were definitely some early additions to the collection. They were something that I got because I wanted like that bigger signet face and well, I got them. Unfortunately, I don't wear the blue one much anymore just because it doesn't quite fit as right as it used to. You know, time goes on, my finger loses its chubbiness levels and it just doesn't quite fit the same. The black one fits mostly fine. It just kind of rotates randomly. I have a couple of photos. I used a napkin for the background for those who will guaranteedly ask. I am using Krita. This is a nice close-up shot. Huh? And we also got this one, another close-up. More well-lit, though, it looks like. This one is, like, very heavy on contrast, though. I guess maybe my ring's just fucking filthy around the edge and I should clean it. I don't know. I wish I streamed these, though, I will say. I wish I just, like, enjoyed streaming more. I don't know why I don't. I think something with the webcam is still just, like, these are almost the same. I almost like this one. I like the angle of the turquoise one more on this. Not that I don't mind a webcam. It's just that I feel like with a webcam, there's a certain pressure. Not even, like, to do anything. There's just, like, that pressure, you know? Like, anything I do will be seen. I just don't know which one I want to go with and my tablet's being a dumb little prickhead. I will say it's sturdy though. I punched it twice and it's only has, it only has one little scuff on the screen and it still works with no issues except just a little, little speed bump. Keeps me slow when I'm drawing, when I start going a little bit too quick. Let's delete this layer. So I guess we just have settled on one of these is what I'm getting at. You know, I just realized having a white background on silver is kind of going to be a bitch. <laughs> it's kind of me, I think. Okay, so I don't know if I should really go for a freehand approach, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start. Because nothing's going to get done. Now, you guys might be wondering, what is this paint program? I already told you, you're really going to ask again. But I'm using this one just because they have kind of nice brushes. And I just like brushes. And these, like, feel very, they feel soft. Maybe that's kind of odd to feel with, like, a digital brush. Like, that they would feel different ways. But pff, shit, bro, they just do. I can't even explain it, really. If you get it, you get it. If they don't get it, then they... They're losers. Don't let them in on the secret, right? I guess first things first, we should worry about a background. I don't think I want a white background just because I want the silver to... Oh, let me, let me do that better. I want the silver to... Yesterday, I was just kind of doodling. And like, I was kind of sitting here thinking, I was like, I have no ideas of what to do for the background. But then like yesterday, I like did this thing. I just kind of started doodling this thing. And I, and I kept like previous layers around so I could just see where it sort of came from and grew from. And this is what I started with. Seeing it grow, you know, as important as I just start doing something because I, it's hard to, you can't build on nothing because once you start putting shit down, you're starting to build. And then if you want to build on nothing, once you start building nothing, there's no longer there. Something is there. So you no longer, now you want to build no more. So you got to, you got, you got to build on stuff. Let's make a really big brush size and just scribble some ball shit. Let's just click random colors. Mm, I don't want this. I don't, I don't want red and orange. Ooh, red and that color. You know what? Let's bring some dark blues in here. Oh, a streak of dark blue to really show the artist's sad streak in his life. It is kind of a pain in the ass going between so many drawing softwares because you get the key bindings confused all the time. I say you, but I mean me. I'm so sorry for projecting onto you. If I squint enough, uh, and when I say enough, I mean my eyes are closed, so I don't really know where I'm drawing at the moment. Let's okay, well, just testing myself. Drawing a whole thing while completely blind coming soon on the main channel. I need to start doing more shit, man. I've had, like, so many things I wanted to do, but I, I've, come to the, I've come to realize that Cryos is, like, a whole different mindset almost in my head. And, like, doing these art videos definitely helps it be not... I mean, it's definitely still, like, a flavor of Cryos, but this is, like, more... Of, a John thing and this is probably sounds fucking psycho to some people and maybe I am a little bit psycho who knows sometimes I look in the mirror and I don't know myself but we're all in a pandemic people go through weird shit granted it happened before the pandemic but still people you know people go through weird shit such as the cycle of light I forgot why I got on this topic hmm but um having like that sort of other outlet I guess that sort of stretch not a stretch that I mean I guess you could kind of it's sort of like stretch you know it's sort of like just i'm doing stretches you know i'm loosening my body up in a sense almost and i'm just like being me again instead of being like in this hunched over position of being cryos and feeling like i have to do something specifically constantly in order to be me in order to be cryos or in order to be you know a certain something that i pretty much made myself i 
it's, it's sort of weird and i think sort of tough to understand especially if you aren't a creator but i'm sort of just blabbering what i've felt and i'm just sort of like remembering that i started this not to be cryos i started this i started cryos to be myself online i guess in a sense and there's my background this is actually you're actually up really close to two butt cheeks they actually just got put on a scanner and that's what that is like right in the middle there is this a sign am i gonna am i gonna go on a plane soon to buy a new ring oh what's this and a, oh my god big tip and i wanted to make like a skull hand holding the rings uh, I don't know how much I feel like getting into anatomy. And I also haven't set a timer for this yet because I kind of just want to get the background going before I set a timer. Try to have a chat at the beginning before I dive too deep into it just because I feel like it'd be kind of fun to have a chat of just what the hell I'm trying to do before actually like starting and while just like working on ideas. I feel like I just picked really odd colors to try to draw with rings. Like I don't, dude, yeah, red was just a bad option. I kind of want to avoid red. Well, that's one way to avoid it. Okay, at this point I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna gauzy and blur the hell out of this and hope that it looks fine. Perfect. Now let's start actually drawing the fucking rings. Well, still feel like I'm just not fully sold on the background. And I don't really need like a perfect background before I draw my rings or anything. I'm not going it for like single layer you know, or anything, you know? Like eventually I'll, I'm sure I'll do like a, there's a lot of challenges like that I could and want to do with drawing. Something about breaking out of like just gaming content after doing it for so many years on that main channel. It's just like, I've done it for videos and stuff, but like doing it on a larger scale, just I don't know, it's a hurdle I can't for some reason get over quite yet. Let's try to position these to an area. Oh my God, I forgot that I, yep, I forgot that was a, dude, I'm not familiar with critter tools. Is this an actual selection or is this like a shape? I'll be honest, I'm probably just gonna slightly trace over them just for the initial shape because I'm a, I'm a little pussy. I'm a little pussy who's still learning how to draw. But I'm just gonna do it rough because I like it. Um, I know we had some lights, right? We had a couple, like, let's be honest, it all needs some lighting at this point. Also, also, uh, the stones in these rings, the blue one is, I mean, I, guess, I think the blue one's a bit more obvious. It's a diamond. No, it's a turquoise. And then the black one, I think, is a starlight opal or something like that. That might not be 100% correct. And there might be somebody who's, like, really into gems. It's been, like, um, actually, it's a diopside. Starlight diopside. Star dio I forgot. Star something diopside. I don't know. Someone can fully confirm me, but uh, I can't right now. So someone else, please take the reins on this because I am choking under pressure. There we go. We got sort of the shape of the of the starlight diopside. I, wait, I have a computer right in front of me. Holy shit. Who put this here? Cat's eye diopside? No, that's way too rhymy. That is not what it was. No, cat's eye is a line. I had star, star something. I, I try to, I mean, I'll probably draw, but whenever the light catches it, it gives a a starlight look that kind of that four beamed lens flares that you you see in anime so much but on a ring so pretty cool uh, and then it looks like the turquoise maybe comes right around comes right around here huh maybe a bit large but he's in charge I'll tell you that much mm-hmm mm -hmm. gonna get the initial shapes hopefully kind of set in stone or set in a ring. <laughs> that was so stupid. I think I might've made the turquoise a bit too big just cause it feels like it's sort of overwhelming on the face of this right now. Maybe I didn't make it too big. Maybe I just was off in my uh, picture. Maybe I just took the picture wrong, but I'm actually drawing it perfectly accurate. Hmm. Didn't think about that one, did you? Give this thing a little bit more life. Or maybe instead of a blue, I could bring in a turquoise. Hmm. Well, that's closer. Let's nail the shape here. We gotta nail the shape here, that's key. We're gonna do anything in this process that is that it is important. If it's not matching the color, we have to nail the shape of this goddamn turquoise. The black star opal back with the blah, 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 looks fine. The turquoise one just looks odd. Wait, hold on, let me try a tried and true trick. Whoa, that was fucking sick. Okay, it's 3D now. See, that's sort of what it would do. Okay, that looks 3D. More 3D. I see them. I see them in there more. I see what needs to be changed as well. This needs to be softened up just a tad. All right, we're not trying to go too soft on it. All right, because we still got to keep this top dark. That's where we're at so far. I'm going to take a quick break because I think it's important to step away. 
come back sometimes with a slightly fresher mind and then continue and push on. So I'll probably get more speed already at this point and not as much talking just because it does get tough to talk during that. <clears throat> and just the normal. I just had a peanut butter and jelly. It's stick in my throat. So I turned back into a child. My voice started cracking again because it reminded me of the good times. All right. Why are you judging me? You're so weird for doing that. We accidentally made the background damn near teal. All right. We might have to change the background color or we could leave it. I mean, to be fair, the other ring is like a black ring. So it goes with really absolutely anything. That's also why I like that ring so much is because I can like wear it with any set of rings I have and it just works. And because the star on it's cool. All right, so shading this definitely showed me that I did mess up the, the proportions here on the bottom a bit. You know, like here it does cut off and here it, it's more of a flat face, but then like the the back of the ring is going this way, but the front is like this. You know what I mean though? Like the, the front should be uh, angled. I wish, uh, I don't know how to do it whenever I'm even drawing like this. So it makes sense that I fucked it up. I definitely like wasted a lot of, well, not really. I didn't waste that much time. That looks better. I think once I put the black sort of like uh, outline sort of around it, it should help again. Uh, I still think overall the ring might be a bit off still, but a way better amount than it would have been. I don't really have a timer set for this one. I'm sort of just going and I'm going to try to call it when I feel like it's closer to completion or almost there. Or maybe at that point, or maybe once I get to a certain point where I feel like it's fitting enough to have a timer and I don't want to like put too much, then maybe I'll like be more conscious of how much extra time or how much time I'm putting into it. But I'm consciously just trying not to put in too much focus on the rings. Even though the rings get almost more focus than me, it feels like sometimes. It's like if I'm not wearing them, then I'm not actually me. It's like I'm an imposter, which I, to be fair, I sometimes feel the same. If I don't have my rings on, then it's just like I'm a I'm almost a hidden person. Like I go to places and they're like, oh, we just recognize you because of your rings. If I like I'm buying something where they need to card me, maybe it's a bad thing that I've gone there too much. So like I just assume that without the rings, I'm almost like a whole entire new identity in a way. The turquoise ring is looking a bit better. The face of it's still kind of off, but I'm not going to be able to like replicate a picture perfectly. Surprise, surprise. I'm also still technically dealing with like the rough mock-up. I haven't really went in and done like more defining lines. The top ring, it sort of works just because that top ring is a lot more handmade sort of look. I do keep looking at the reference and then looking at what I'm drawing and just see certain areas that feel too far off. But then I also got to remember that those areas being far off sort of helps the other areas that are also off that much. Like if one area is perfect like the image and the other one's not then it's not going to be very coherent looking but you know if it's just done sort of the same wrong way everywhere then it's a coherent image that was making a lot more sense before i actually like said it out loud i'm in the processes of wrapping this one down sort of making sure that it has all the general details that make it look right enough and also the fine enough details that make it stand out a little bit more you know they don't have to be perfect details but just those details that show that it's there it was put in it might not be perfectly detailed but it was put in it was aware of it was represented in my drawing from the photograph or i guess just the rings themselves i don't know why because the photograph is of the ring so the photo like of a photograph of nothing what is it? I don't know why that even matters or why I even asked it, but yeah. I was just kind of thinking of like, a photograph is just, you know, it's just of something. And it's, so it's like, can you really have a photograph of something that isn't? Probably not because that just, that's not, photographs don't work that way. So I don't actually get why I asked that question. It's not like I was trying to be philosophical. I think my, I think I just had a hole in my brain for a second, but it filled back in. I think one of the parts that I like the least about this drawing is the part I'm about to do. And that is the face for the turquoise of like the brown spots. I don't know why, but I just could not get them good enough for myself. I kind of almost want to call it here. It's just the more I look at it, the more I want to pick it apart and rip it apart. And I don't know, like, I feel like if I give myself more time, I'm going to slowly start doing that. And I, yeah. oh God, it's happening already. My hand's moving. Oh no. Oh God. Oh jeez. He's just separating the shadow a bit more. So it's clear. Oh God. Okay. He's re oh, oh my God. No, he's doing more. He's doing more. He's trying to flatten it. Looking at the turquoise face, I definitely need to go in here and like smudge it up. Whatever I was doing to it was not the play. We can all agree. You don't have to be nice to me. I think it led to what works, you know, and I think that actually does help it a bit. I think it actually took me less than an hour, which is also another reason I wanted to kind of call it is because it 
was like a shorter time than I did my previous one. I thought it'd be cool to just see how quick I could do it. Do I love the whole thing? I can't really say I do. I'm not like a massive fan of the background. And maybe I'll do some final touches and like, well, there's actually no maybe. I just decided to do some final touches because I came back to the next day and I looked at it and I just felt like I could do more to it. Maybe not even that I could do more to it because I could do more to a lot of things if I wanted to, but it almost felt like it, it needed more done to it. It just didn't quite feel enough. And I think a lot of it was because I spent so much time in the background and I got hung up on the background, not even really liking the background. Sort of just like settling on the background because I figured it would be good enough since like the main focus of what I wanted to do was draw rings. But I wasn't settled on it. I wasn't really settled on any of it, which is why I obviously still went back. And I also did some of the comment, like this is post commentary. A lot of this commentary was when I was actually drawing. You can probably tell slight differences. I don't actually know. You probably won't actually care. But I felt like going in and doing these touch-ups and just like more finalizing it, even though I still wouldn't really consider it final, but that's also just because I don't know how to like make a piece final. Like there's still rough edges. There's still parts that could be made like a lot better and more consistent just like throughout the whole thing. But I guess for me, I'm still just trying to squeeze into a time. And you know, even the additional time, I don't think I went over an hour. It might've been like an hour 10, but I did want to change the background because the background just felt so not it for me and i went through so many iterations because i had no idea what the hell i wanted to do for the rings i just went back in and tried to sharpen it up and give more details and punch to the details and bring out a little bit more life in them and also with the background i wanted to accent them more so i was trying to think of colors that would fit and just trying to think of something that would fit and i didn't know if i want them just floating there because floating there felt sort of lazy and especially after having the napkin because i kind of like the photo just in general how it looked but i didn't really want to draw a napkin with a white background type of thing but i literally just messed around with the background for a while and until I landed on something and you guys will see the background soon uh it really looks nothing like what I have going on right now I think I just completely redid it but I was doing this and I felt like I found a lot of cool things but just that wouldn't really work with rings you know I feel like I was getting a lot of cool backgrounds but none of them were really fitting with like the thing I was drawing in this one they were just weren't matching I guess the rings but it's sort of tough to like pick something to accent rings. I mean, normally fingers would be like great things. So I could go with like a skin tone. And I guess maybe the orange is sort of there to match a skin tone a little bit. I feel like the background is better than like the bluish teal thing we had going on though. And when it's in this pose, it also sort of feels reminiscent of like the photograph. And I liked how the, the picture looked. And now it's like on something again. And you know, so it's kind of like the same, but different. I like the concept of this background a lot more. I don't think I did a very super good execution of it. I could have done better, but I wasn't trying to, I guess, make anything super crazy. I just wanted to make something that was better fit for the rings. I mean, I guess even saying that though, I still could make this one better fit for the rings, but it was the time limit. And that's my reason because that is my reason. I guess it's, it's tough because I know I could do more and like I have more time now, but like I had my time limit and I got to stick to my time limit because if I can't stick to my time limit, then what am I going to be able to stick to, you know? Uh, I do think, which is good, because if you don't think, then you just sound like, duh, and that's not fun. But I do think the rings look better, and I think the background also helps the ring pop a bit more. Some of the grass is a bit weird, especially in the shadowy area. Uh, yeah, like the technique I was doing. Also, seeing this bigger makes me realize how uh, better it is zoomed far away. But uh, I'm done with it. Trying not to go two hour, two, over two hours once again, just because I feel like this reasonable to granted I was going to do one hour, but then I was like, this needs final touches. And then I did final touches and final touches is a whole nother drawing eventually. So, you know, let's screw it. I also did change the lighting a little bit because the rings looked a little bit too cold, but this is the before and after and you can see a pretty big difference. I think the rings turned out a lot better and here's the final final. So you can just look at it. You guys have any other recommendations or maybe specific rings you want me to draw? Be sure to let me know. Uh, when I say specific rings, I do mean rings I own uh, or any other other different things for me to draw on here right now it's just rings and maybe some random drawing commentaries that i still feel kind of uncomfortable doing i know this was one but it had a point outside of just drawing and talking so it's a little bit easier to sit down and talk about something instead of talk about anything and then also have that anything be entertaining enough although i wouldn't assume rings would be entertaining enough but the views on my first video said otherwise mm -hmm.